Tala with me Nirupa who has brought you a new story today and this one is called the Pumble Town Detectives okay so chapter 2 it's called how good is all's good good day sir Damien that called through the lower half of the door you remember how there was a knocking and there were these which sounded like kicking. So there is Damien that's talking to the man's other half. <coughs> Excuse me. May I ask why your head is where your feet should be? I have walked all night to get here, replied the upside down man. And now I'm resting my feet. That's what I call using your head, Damien that exclaimed. What brings you here? Why my feet, of course. No, no, no. I mean, why have you come here? Oh, well, I heard that you needed a detective. And since I, Osgood P. Pettibone, am the world's greatest detective, I rushed right over. How thoughtful of you, said Dame Edith. But I was just about to hire this other detective. Hmm. She was indeed, Basil piped up. Or my name's not Basil T. Sneed, so go home, go home, Pettibone. But surely you would not send the great Osgood away without a test, Pettibone objected. Very well, replied Dame Edith. Come into the garden and we will see if you are truly the world's greatest. She has another test, I bet. For Osgood. Hmm. Your challenge, Damien that told Osgood, is to find something that is in the garden. I'll give you three clues. One, it is something you eat. Two, it is next to a fence. And three, it is colored red. Huh, do you see it? Well, Osgood did. Let's see what he has to say. Osgood did too. I know you saw it. I know you found out. Let's see what Osgood has to say. That might stump an ordinary detective, said Osgood. But for me, the answer is clear. I see five things to eat. A pumpkin, a banana, an apple, a carrot and a tomato. Five things next to a fence. Well, there is a tomato, a flower, a pumpkin, a shovel and a basketball. And five things that are colored red. That's the um, little other garden tool. I don't know what it's called. There's a ap an apple, a flower, a tomato and a red glove. But only one of them fits all three clues. Do you see it too? Oh, you already saw it, didn't you? Yeah, smart you guys are. It's the tomato, Osgood said triumphantly sang out. Hmm. Triumphantly sang out. Damien that clapped her hands in delight. Ooh, but Basil T. T. Sneed looked unhappy. Mm, he has competition. That test was so easy, it made me queasy, he blurted out. With the rhyme. <laughs> I ask for a task that will strain his brain. All right, Damien that agreed. Osgood, would you be so kind as to follow me into the greenhouse? As soon as Damien that and Osgood entered the greenhouse she turned to the detective and said this time I would like you to find something that has a handle holds water and is not yellow while well, you guys are figuring this out you can pause the video the video paused and when you unpause I have the rest of the story so hmm that's a little tougher said Osgood studying all the objects in the greenhouse. I'll start by finding everything that has a handle. So he found a little sieve, a garden tool. Okay, there is a funnel. There is a little bucket. There's a watering can. There's a teapot. There's a cup, a mug, um, a brush, a rake, a bigger rake. I don't know my tools so well. An umbrella and a basket. Next I'll pick out every one of these things that holds water. So there's a, there's a bucket, there's a watering can, a tea kettle and a mug. 
And finally, I'll zero in on the one object among them that is not yellow. Can you spot it too? He's made it really easy, isn't it? It's a red watering can. This guy's good. I like the way he thinks. Okay, it's the red watering can, Osgood proudly announced. Goodness, cried Dave Neither. How did you solve my test so fast? A little brain power, madam, said Osgood. And a lot of practice. Just last week, you see, I cracked a similar case on the Island of Wishes. You have been there, perhaps? Um, no, I haven't, Dame Edith replied. But it just so happens that I love a good mystery, so I would love to hear the tale. Very well, said Osgood, and he told the story. This story. The Island of Wishes is a magical place where everything you wish for comes true. I want to go there. I was called there by Arnold Dimpleby, who ruled the island with his twin brother, Ernest Dimpleby. There's Arnold. Someone has taken my wishful thinking cap. Without it, I can't make wishes come true. Can you figure out where it is? Do you have any idea who took it? It was probably my twin brother, Ernest. He loves to outwit me with his silly games. When I went to my hat track this morning, I found this envelope in place of my wishing cap. It read, Dear Arnie, I have hidden your wishing cap somewhere on the island. To get it back, just figure out the clues inside. Have fun. Hmm. Then Arnold opened the envelope and showed me the note inside. It said, go to Coconut Cove and look for something that has a shell and a flag and is made of sand. Shell and a flag and made of sand. Are you looking? Okay. Whoever has taken Arnold's wishing cap was a master riddler. Only a very clever thinker I knew could solve this mystery. I therefore set out for Coconut Cove at once. I looked at everything on the beach. Finally, I found the one thing that had a shell and a flag and was made of sand. Can you spot it? Can you? Hmm. Shell and a flag and was made of sand. Everything is shell and flag and made of sand. I see this one. Ah. It was a magnificent sand castle built upon the beach. On the back of its flag, I found a note which read, Next, seek something spotted. It must also have a tail and fly through the sky. It could be the ladybug, but then do they have tails? Now, this was a brain boggler as usual, though Osgood P. Pettibone was equal to the task. I searched high and low until sure enough I found the answer to this riddle. Could it be this? I don't know. What do you think? Can you find it with me is what he says. Ah. Whoa, what is that? It was a spotted kite with a long tail. I reeled in the kite to discover a map on one side. Woohoo! A map. How to use this map? Step one. Find the green arrow. All right. Step two, follow the path from the green arrow to the plant that has three red flowers and turn. Um, um, red, red, oh, red flowers. Path, no path. How do I get there? Three red flowers. And then turn. Okay. Maybe you jump over these things and then can get from there to there and you turn. Okay. Uh, cross the brook, All right, on the bridge, made of wood, a bridge made of wood, bridge made of wood, okay, bridge made of wood, then head straight for the wishing well, right, there it is, there you will find your cap, I see it is inside the bucket, <laughs> night was coming on, it was getting cold, when at last I found Arnold's wishful thinking cap. As I started back toward Dimpleby Castle, it began to rain. My detective hat got soaked. 
Arnold's cap looked nice and dry, so I slipped it on my head. Oh, how I wish that I was safely back in Dimpleby Castle, drinking hot chocolate with marshmallows. And sure enough, that's what happened. The very next moment I found myself standing right next to Arnold in Dimpleby Castle. In my hand was a cup of hot chocolate and in the cup were several fluffy marshmallows. The wishful thinking cap had granted me my wish. How lucky. You found my precious hat, Arnold cried out. You must be the greatest detective the world has ever known. Then Arnold settled the hat on his own head and said to me, I wish you just as much success in your next case. Woo-hoo. I think that brings us to the end of... No, no, not yet. <laughs> Dame Edith was visibly impressed by Osgood's tale. That was slick sleuthing. Indeed, she congratulated him. But now I can't decide whether to hire you or Mr. Sneed. Perhaps I should. A cry from upstairs stopped Dame Edith in mid-sentence. Oh no! Someone shouted, not again! They all rushed upstairs to find Sir Reginald in a soggy mood. That's the seventh time this week I found my slippers in the bathtub, Sir Reginald sputtered. Can't anyone figure out what's going on in the mystery manor? Just then, a huge balloon, there you see that one, floated by outside. What in the world is that? They all shouted. What is that? And that, that is the end of this chapter. And I'll come back with the next one in the next story. Chapter 3, coming soon. Bye for now. See you soon. You keep your thinking hats on. Bye-bye.